I am uh, Katja Gruiters. I am a food designer and I'm very happy to be here with you. Um, I have a big passion for food. Food is culture, food is nature, food is social and it brings people together. And as a designer, my work always starts with questions. So I do research, then experiments, I go back to the origin of the ingredient and then I find the essence. So I will show you lace, a traditional fabric. It's mysterious, decorative, hidden something. But what will happen when we translate this material, this, this fabric in another material? How far can I go? Thick lace, is it still lace? Or sugar? In the end, I choose the material because I was organizing in high tea. It's chocolate. A chocolate tile another face of lace. So food is wonderful, but as you know, there are many problems around food. We waste a lot of food. At home we spill 10 till 15 percent. In restaurants it's even higher. It's 15 till 25 percent. And in the agriculture it's 20 percent. And did you know the Netherlands, a small country, we are number three in food waste. So, how can we prevent food waste? How does our food end up in the store, on our plate, and finally, and even in the trash? Today, I will present you Beautiful by Nature. It's a, a different uh, view on food. Beautiful by Nature wants to prevent and reduce waste. It reconnects people with food. And um, I want to make people aware um, of the problems and inspire them to make different, more sustainable choices. And when I say reconnecting, I mean it very literal. So, uh, people can, can smell, they can look, they can taste, and they can touch and listen to natural ingredients. So, let me introduce you to this twin apple. You may never have seen him, as he is rejected. Because in the, in the, in the supermarket, um, the standard size of the, the, the supermarket, he doesn't uh, meet the standard size of the supermarket and the shape. And there is not only one. There are many of, of them in our trees. Why don't we appreciate the twin apple? They are really incredible beautiful. They are beautiful by nature. And inside, they have character and the same taste as a standard apple. As if we accept nature as it is, we have much less waste. So I started to develop a waste-free restaurant. A restaurant in, in most minimal form. So it means chairs, guests, tables, a cooker, and ingredients out of nature. When you look at this restaurant chain, you can see that, that the problem starts at the selection. Because the restaurants, they buy readily selected ingredients. So no twin apples.
So when we go to the beautiful by nature waste free cycle, we start in nature and then the products are growing and they are all harvested and there is no selection. So when we go back to the nature, the origin, I noticed that we overlooked a lot of ingredients. We are not using them and it's a waste. For example, the bridge juice of the tree is drinkable and it's very, very delicious. And then we have a variety, a large variety of all kinds of sea vegetables rich in protein and could be substitute meat. The beautiful by nature cycle doesn't reject any tasty ingredients. So by an exposition, I present at one side the non-standard ingredients and then at the other side the, 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 the standard ingredients. So A-class apples I presented in a straight row and then at the other side I presented the beautiful by nature vegetables, all different kind of sizes, in a more uh, playable, non-systematic way. And then the people, they could choose their own vegetables. And can you believe, can you believe all the people went home um, with the beautiful by nature ing ingredients? And this time, the perfect ones were rejected. So, the next step is the processing of food. And um, I found new ways of conserving food and preventing leftovers. So, did you know that the crayfish, uh, the supermarket crayfish, it's coming from China. Well, we have an abundance of crayfish in our own rivers. Because it's cheaper uh, to import them already peeled from China. In the waste free restaurants, the guests um, get in contact with the crayfish and they really like the activity of peel, peeling the, the crayfish by themselves during the dinner. If we conserve fresh food in a natural way, we have seasonable food all year long. It means a reduction of import. 70 years ago, we had a shortage of energy. So, um, the hay box was introduced to keep the food uh, warm. The, the, the hay keeps the food warm for one or even two hours. So during a mobile tastery, um, I, I used this hay box installation. It kept the, 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 the soup uh, warm for 120 guests. And then the guests were surprising to, 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 to dis that discover the, the, the soup in the intrigious boxes and they really enjoyed eating it. How can we prevent waste while we are eating? By serving, small, by serving uh, seasonable vegetables in small helpings or let the people decide self the size of their helping. So I've designed a waste free, uh, beautiful by nature waste free cycle but then at, at the end of the cycle you always will have um, leftovers. 
So, um, I, uh, the, 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 the beautiful by nature cycle uh, reuses leftovers, for instance, by using the biogas cookers. So I've designed the beautiful by nature cycle and um, by doing research in all different phases in the food production. And I was inspired by the beauty of nature and I found new ways of, um, um, of new ways of natural, making natural uh, uh, food. Being inventive and creative, we can reduce and prevent waste. Important and still eating of the, 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 the tasty, beautiful and good quality food. So, um, I hope um, you, you, you were inspired by this uh, presentation and uh, see the real uh, beauty of nature. So, thank you. <laughs>